We can now take you back to the president's response or to the operations of Akonta Mining Company Limited because the Lands and Natural Resources Minister Abu Jinapo has been reacting to the president's comments at Bema Camp this morning. My colleague Maxwell Agbagba spoke to him. We have support the government and the Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources in our quest to uh, preserve the lands and natural resources of our country. Uh, it will be remiss on my part if I did not give you a gist of what we resolved uh, as it relates to illegal small-scale mining in Galamse. The conclusions of our meeting, the fundamental conclusion of our meeting, is that we are going to sustain our efforts, sustain our efforts at coming to grips with this menace, this existential threat of illegal small-scale mining. And the military high command under the leadership of the CDS is committed to continue to pursue the measures which they've rolled out currently to make sure that we resolve the issue of illegal small scale mining in our country. And I want to thank the CDS once again. Thank you very uh, much. Well, we've reviewed our strategy, we've um, uh, tweaked the strategy, and I believe that the military high command will roll them out and make them public as and when they deem it fit. Many have uh, said that we should have a, a, I mean, a post, a permanent post for the military so that it will not be a case where they come and then they go because the legal men say that when the soldiers come, when they are tired and they leave, you come back. Are we going to have a permanent post? Well, we we'll leave that to the discretion of the military high command. Matters of strategy, operational strategy and the rest, I think we'll leave that to them. But most important thing is that we are never going to relent. One more question. Are, yes, are, are we likely to see the, 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 the prime, more deployment? Well, we, we're, going to, we're going to keep up with it. We're going to keep up with it, and we're going to sustain the momentum, that I can assure you. The nitty-gritties of it, as I say, I'll leave it to the Ministry of Government. Thank you very much. Uh, the President was responding to um, a request by the Chairman of this Catholic Diocesan Priest Association Biennial Conference, Mr. Ken Ashibi. Mr. Ashibi, in his remarks, had appealed to the president, called on the president to um, speak to the issue of Akonta mining. And so the president sought to respond and assure the conference, and for that matter, the country. So the president's comments were actually an assurance to the conference and the country. And what was that assurance? The president said, as he spoke, and by that, as of yesterday, Akunta Mining was not engaged in any illegal mining activities in any forest reserve. And indeed, the president went further to assure the country that under his instructions, the Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources and the Forestry Commission is actually called on off the 294 forest reserves in our country. He said that as well. You know, I mean, for some reason, that is be taken out of the discourse. But the president gave a further assurance that not only is Akonta Mining not engaged in illegal mining activities in any forest reserve, as he spoke yesterday, but additionally, he had put in place measures, his government had put in place measures to protect the 294 forest reserves of our country from attack from illegal miners and illegal mining activities. So the president was not speaking about the uh, wrongdoing or otherwise of Akunta mining in the past, the criminality or otherwise of Akunta mining in the past. He was not commenting on what happened in the past. He was giving an assurance of the state of affairs as at the time he was addressing the conference. And that is a statement of fact. And, and for me, I think that the president should be commended, the government should be commended, that we've, uh, we've gotten to a, a situation where we can confidently say that we are protecting the forest systems of our country. That's essentially what the president said. I mean, you're taking out of context. Well, I'm not too sure about it. it's been taken out of context or not because it's really plain. I mean, what he said is not, there's no ambiguity. There's no ambiguity. I mean, it will only take, uh, with the greatest of respect, a mischievous person to pretend that there is some ambiguity in what the president said. And, and as I keep emphasizing, the president was given an assurance following some anxiety expressed by one of the speakers at the conference. And I want to repeat the president was not speaking to the issues of Akunta mining uh, as they happened in the past. The, the substantive issues of the uh, conduct or otherwise of Akunta mining are before the Ghana Police Service and the Special Prosecutor. And the President was not speaking to that. The President was giving an assurance about the state of affairs 
as he spoke yesterday. So, so, so there was so a the statement president. by people. There was, there was a statement by residents um, uh, at Summer Boy. They said Akonta Mining is uh, moving back to the, the, the forest. To move back. They intend to move yes, back. To well, uh, um, so I don't have any such information. But that would, again, the president was not speaking to that. The president was speaking to what was the state of affairs as at the time he was addressing that conference. And the statement the president made, the uh, conclusions the president mm. reached at that time are statements of fact. I mean, it's a fact that Kunta Mine is not engaged in any illegal mining activity in any forest as at yesterday. So